I'm going to talk you through the breakthrough moments that I had learning to stuff and static zap. Yes. As you guys know, I like to document the different things that I'm learning. And today I really committed to trying to learn to stuff and static zap. So for this one, I'm gonna start out just by saying, you gotta practice just balancing. Screw even trying to get up, man. It's just about learning to balance up there. So slipping the clutch, stuffing that front wheel in is gonna give you more traction, help you be able to do that. Now, when it is time to go ahead and try and push that front wheel up onto there, oh, it really helps to bend those knees. So you can see right here, bracing for that impact and then oh, letting yeah, my body definitely. move into it now when it's time to try and get the momentum and the build up the rpm this one is just a challenge i really struggle with this and so at one point i said you know what i need to see when i'm supposed to be popping the clutch so i rely on the master here's pat Smaji showing you how it's done i wound up putting a little insert right when he's popping the clutch right there and I also reached out to a friend and said, hey, talk me through this, man. I really need some help. So Sean McGinnis is helping me out, making a private video just for me, demonstrating it and also talking me through some tips. Time for a little update. First thing is when you're pushing into this, bend your knees right there. Knees go towards the front axle. That'll help you get stabilized. Second thing is that I need a stronger pull and I gotta get my foot off that rear brake. I was trying to do it with the foot on the rear brake. That definitely doesn't work. So clutch slip. This is definitely not a how-to. As you guys know, I just enjoy documenting the process and talking through the things that I'm learning because that's what this channel is all about, trials progression. So here we go, trying it again in a later session on this wall, just a little bit more of a vertical face. I'm getting some pop, but I'm still just not committing. And honestly, I spend more time just trying to balance. So I say, man, I'm getting fatigued. I'm just gonna give it a bunch of gas. Give it some gusto. Let's just really rev this thing up and commit. And that's helping for sure. Rev, pull hard and wait. Wait to pop. Rev. So I did find that when I revved higher, I was pulling harder. Now, if you guys enjoy this type of detailed talking through different techniques, I've got tons more of this. I've got a whole trials curriculum that I'm building, including a suspension series with bonus videos. If you guys want to join the membership, click that button down below. Thanks for your support, and I'll see you in the next one.